What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna be checking out the brand new GTA 6 trailer. Now, if you don't know me, I'm an Unreal Engine 5 game developer and I make basically videos and tutorials teaching people how to make games in Unreal Engine. So you can check out all my content in my YouTube channel. So, of course, I have already seen this trailer because it is, uh, you know, impossible to not have already seen it. It leaked before, it is all over Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube, so, you know, I, it's what it is, I already saw it. But, let's go ahead and react together and see, you know, how this looks and how the new game engine from Rockstar, Rockstar, uh, you know, advanced game engine, which is Rage 9, looks. So, let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, let's, you know, just play, let's play. The illumination looks beautiful. I can't tell about that. Look at that. Bad luck, I guess. The characters look pretty good. Oh, look at that. It looks amazing, huh? It looks absolutely incredible. Um, one of the best things I think of this is the level illumination, right? How everything balances and it looks really nice. The characters look okay. Um, I, I honestly was expecting something more in terms of the faces and so on. Yeah, it, it, it looks okay, but um, the hair looked pretty nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks that that lighting there in the night and night was very cool with the cars and so on. Yeah, this looks really cool. <laughs> that reminded me of uh, Far Cry. Um, there we go. No, the, the faces of the protagonist look very nice. Very, very nice. But it is true that I was expecting something more, you know? Because it is just GTA 6. But it still looks very nice. There we go. <laughs> GTA 6 coming out in 2025. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just rewatch the trailer a bit slower and analyze things a bit, you know, more precisely. So as you can see, first of all, the lighting, the fog, everything looks absolutely amazing. Uh, it is very similar to how it looks, you know, in Red Dead Redemption 2, as it is their latest game, and, you know, the, with the volumetric clouds and so on. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, now we go a bit more. You can see there, there we go, of the, uh, you know, reflections and how it looks through uh, different types of materials. I get the, the the direct lighting coming into the character. You can see that the character has little hair strands, which uh, even in the face, which makes it more realistic. Uh, and here it looks very, very nice. The hair is also pretty good. Also, you can see that it has a uh, physics simulation. It is already moving. Um, now in here, the character does look pretty good. But, um, you know, I was honestly expecting something more. And, um, I, it is what it is. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna admit it. I was expecting something more in terms of um, the character faces. But it still looks very nice, okay? Um, there we go. The water looks very, very, very good in this shot, okay? It looks absolutely amazing. I think that the foam, it was makes it, you know, shine. Um, you can see how many buildings are in this game. And the render distance, it just goes all the way back. Now, of course, in this trailer, uh, one thing I want to say, which I haven't um, said, is that I do believe that all of this is running in real time in engine, uh, which is pretty much the same as in-game. So I, I, I pretty much believe that this will basically be how uh, in-game looks. So you can see also there is a uh, lower detail of shadows over this area and uh, there's no physical grass, there's only the texture, uh, which are tricks uh, used all over games. So um, I believe that this is running in real time or anything. So this, uh, this is how the game will look, okay? Uh, so let's keep watching. Here we go, Rockstar Game Presents. It, it looks unbelievable. You can see the, huh. yeah, the, look at the vegetation. The vegetation looks very nice. There's a, a lot of um, grass and detail in between each, you know, Grass blade, we could say, uh, with the shadows and swim. The the water is very nice. I really like the water. Uh, you can see all the, the birds flying around. It looks awesome. In here, this shot is amazing. Look at how many NPCs are at the same time in the screen. Like GTA 6 is gonna have one of the uh, most immersive worlds. Like 100%. Look at how many characters 
are just in this simple you know angle uh, in, in the beach now one thing that mm, doesn't look as good as I thought it would be is the water in this angle you can see that it's a bit it's a bit flat you know um, it looks very similar to Red Dead Redemption 2 or even GTA 5 you know uh, in the first shot the it, it was noticeable that it wasn't a, a, you know pretty upgraded but in here it looks a bit flat from my point of view um, but it, it still looks very nice um, so let's go ahead and continue but the, the clouds look unbelievable they're you know volumetric clouds you can see now the water now it looks a bit better now in this angle with the difference you know in waves and splashes and so on it looks nice like I said, faces and water was one of the things that I expected something more. I'm not exactly disappointed, but I, I just was expecting something more, you know, but it still looks amazing. This shot looks very nice. Um, uh, you know, you can see all the night illumination going on, uh, which is really cool. And the character, you know, in the shot, that, that, that scene looks good, okay? That scene uh, looks pretty cool at night. Now you can see, you know, all the cars reflecting everything. That is amazing. All the tears. I don't know if uh, the cars will leave this decals at the ground properly. That looks very cool. Um, and yeah, once again, there's always things in the sky, like helicopter planes or uh, birds. That's really cool. A lot of people always. Uh, let's see if that will stay until the end of the release, hopefully. But there's a lot of people, as you can see, in each shot. And here, th this is incredible. <laughs> this shot is pretty cool, the nightclub, you know. Um, the lighting is pretty nice, I would say. Um, there's a lot of characters once again. And, and yeah. Look, in here, the face looks very nice. Um, similar to the level of detail that we saw with uh, the, the main characters. Um, now, I, I was... It, this this one looks pretty nice, you know. I was maybe expecting some a bit more, but it looks very nice. Um, the hair also look, this shot is one of my favorite ones, you can see the Miami Beach um, Avenue, I guess it is called, I went once to Miami but I don't remember, um, but it looks absolutely amazing, again, a lot of uh, people, a lot of cars, there's a lot of entities at the same time in the world, which just brings it alive and separates it from other games, I think that this is how it will end up looking because it is amazing and you know the, the the night scenes are very well done especially because it's miami so i have all the you know cool lighting coming on uh so cool stuff there this shot is incredible this one is also incredible uh the water from above looks fantastic all right i have to admit that it looks like always from above it looks very nice when it's noticeable that's a bit like like a bit plain it, it is when it's uh closer to the ground you know um but overall it looks pretty nice uh, you can see also the boats living in foam right um uh, interacting with the water you can see the little waves that's pretty cool um you have a helicopter you can see living the how would you say the the heat on the um, you know on the air also that's pretty cool. You can see, uh, look. This is uh, a reason why I'm saying this is in real time. You can see that the level of detail and the textures on this part um, are a bit, um, you know, downgraded. And that's because it's farther distance. So that's why I believe. And uh, also here, that's why I believe this is running indeed in real time. But it looks absolutely amazing. Let's continue on. And here, the hair looks pretty nice. But if you notice, all right, that was <laughs> way back. You notice. There's some hairs going through the, the beginning in this case. Um, I, th I think that the hair uh, face simulations is, is awesome. I think no other game has it. Um, just I guess this is a random NPC pretty much. So if all of the NPCs are gonna have this um, face simulation in the hair, it's gonna be really really cool. Uh, that's gonna be super immersive. Gonna look super cool. Um, now of course. Um, it goes through certain optics and you know, it, it's what it is. I don't think that they would just put a collision for the bikini, you know, it would not make sense. Uh, but it looks very nice, the characters look very nice. Um, like I mentioned at the start, I was expecting something more for the faces and so on, but they look very nice. Uh, also given to the mount that are at the screen at the same time. There we go, Vice City. <laughs> and you have here different cool shots, like if it's a uh, social media story or something like that 
Um, and, and yeah, the, the animations look very nice. This uh, shot here looks absolutely amazing. I think that what makes it pop up is their full magic fog. I think that Rage has one of the best full magic fogs I've ever seen. Uh, Join with them review engine. Like, look at this. <laughs> it looks so cool. I look at the light interacting, like light scattering. Um, interacting with the fog, as you can see, it's, just, it, it's like it looks immersed in the fog. That's so cool. Again, a lot of people, a lot of cars, there's always a lot of things at the same time. Maybe they group it together just for the trailer, could be, but hopefully, when it releases, we will also have of these um, cars and so on. Again, <laughs> body cam. Yeah, the, the characters. The characters remind me, I don't know why, for some reason, the animations or the lighting on them or something like that reminds me on, on, on Far Cry. I don't know why, mm, but it just, it looks like Far Cry in some cases. I don't know why, okay? Um, of course, better than Far Cry, but it just uh, kind of gives me the, the vibe of Far Cry. I don't know why. I don't know if it happens the same for you. Uh, th this shot... For me, it's, it's Far Cry, okay? I don't know why, because they're always like in the selfie mode in Far Cry doing this um, crazy stuff, so I don't know. I don't know, but this, you know, just came Far Cry out of me. Um, and here it looks pretty cool. <laughs> you can see there are the physics. I don't know if those, you know, that was a, a cinematic, um, but if physics will interact with the characters like that in real time, that would be amazing. Again, please chase. And here the the the, um, the character looks very nice. And here it looks very nice. It depends on the angle and the lighting always, but I was expecting a bit more of that. But it looks very nice. You can see the events will happen. Um, you can see here again the volumetry fog. A lot of people in the in the um, shadow at the same time. It looks very nice, you know. Trust. It looks very nice. Trust. And here the faces look also very nice. There we go. So yeah, I am I am very excited um, for the release of GTA 6. Of course, we have to wait two years until 2025, but it is what it is. Um, I guess that, you know, we'll just have to wait. Um, so yeah, I think it looks very nice. Um, it is true that I was in certain aspects expecting a bit more. And honestly, I guess that this is because GTA 6 is one of the most hyped games in gaming history i guess so um we got the expectations very high and of course you know a bit too high um but it looks amazing i cannot wait to see more about it hopefully trailer 2 and so on will release not in another year and let's see um so that's it guys if you want to learn unreal engine check out my uh youtube channel also if you're interested in some gta mechanic tutorials on unreal engine let me know in the comments below um and yeah uh, join my discord server follow me on my socials now yes with all that said bye bye